Ireland might have the longest pier in the UK, but we've got the shortest pier. Look at that. Not sure if you can even call it a pier, to be honest, but flat bit of rock along here, I'll take it. What a nice bench down there now. But we'll see if it lasts the night anyway. Not expecting rain, thankfully. But there is a bit of a, a bit of a southwest uh, no sorry, southeasterly, so it is kind of coming across the side of my Nice! Pretty little spot, it's not from the big gap down there, but it's right. Get a mattress on that, and uh, yeah, don't even need to fish to be honest. Yeah, definitely need that mattress. It's been a long winter. Made it. So just got the first rod in. Got a hardback crab out, probably about 50 yards, just at the end of the reef. And I'm just going to chuck a ragworm bait out. See how long it takes to get a bite. I don't really want to be reeling in fish all night, or at least before sunset anyway, after sunset I'm going to chuck out some bigger baits to see what's about. You do get a few cusps around here and some eels and I mean rays are unheard of. So, get this one out. Can't imagine it'll be long before I get a bite on that left one. It's the only thing with down here, you lose the sun quite early and at this time of year it does get a bit nippy. But safe to say spring's here. First day of spring today, well it's not the first day of spring, that was a couple of weeks ago, but it actually felt like spring today. First bit of semi-decent weather that we've had this year. So I thought why not make the most of it? We've got a bite on the left one. Definitely not the biggest fish in the world, but cool looking things. Temperature's definitely dropped a bit now. It's about five, five to eight. So probably bring the brass baits in in a minute. It's 
So I've actually got a freeze, freeze drive mill today. Never tried one of these before. Looks banging, but we'll see. A thousand calories. Should definitely help with the walk back tomorrow. Yeah. It's all part of it. Not had anything since that since that first rasp, but to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much. It's all about tomorrow. High tide tomorrow, I think, is about half 11. Uh, might be 11, actually, so... I mean, should be good up up and over high. Probably fish a couple of hours back down. But yeah, really want a cuckoo ras. Really want one. Well, this is definitely a winner. The amount of times I've been fishing overnight and end up having a sausage roll and a prawn sandwich for my dinner. This is a game changer. Asian noodles and mixed vegetables, thousand calories, taste absolutely epic. Winner. Finding myself falling asleep. So I think that's it. Uh, two dogfish, pretty exciting, that's about it really, so I'm going to hit the sack, get some sleep, get up bright and early for sunrise, hopefully it's not too cloudy and should get a pretty good sunrise over this side of Portland, so yeah. Actually slept surprisingly well. Well, I never sleep particularly well, but we woke up about five times in the night. Got my other GoPro set up on a time lapse. Looks like it should be quite a good sunrise actually. Cannot be first coffee of the morning. Definitely something of a little little tickle. Nothing.
decent bite on the right hand one in the lo load of hardbacks that I collected one of them was actually a peanut so I chucked that out there in the in the froth and just had a good bite well apparently Ballon Ras do exist it's definitely worth the wait colours on this thing only a small one but that is cool Tell it's time to go because all the seagulls are lining up ready to come and eat my leftover squid. Anyway, I'm done. Now for the uh, gentle stroll back. Mm. I drive away. I wish I was back down there. So enjoy it while it lasts.